the next couple of minutes we will be showing you the automated pre-cataloging of digitized media assets. It's part of the cognitive media framework of the DWERFT research project. Shown in the following use case is data mining and assets of the German Broadcasting Archive using non-indexed audio and video files of East German television to prioritize for additional indexing by archive employees. Previously, formal and content-related recording of archive holdings in the German Broadcasting Archive had been done intellectually, meaning without using mining methods. The content had been put into the German-wide FESAT system. This prototype of automated pre-cataloging fulfills a number of tasks. Metadata is generated for assets that have not yet been processed and cataloged by archivists. That means the indexing of film via OCR and face recognition, as well as via speech recognition done through transcript analysis. A special focus was put on the number of attributes recognized by automatic indexing and also with what probability the attributes have to be found correct. The use case provides for attributes found to be checked and edited manually, quickly and easily after the analysis. Top priorities for the German Broadcasting Archive were the recognition of the acting persons, both in picture and sound, the locations in the image and in the original sound, detection of creators, producers and contributors by OCR in the credits, detection if and where music is included, detection where still images and photos have been included, which is done by motion detection. The biggest learnings and improvements, image similarity search allows for a finer grain search than concept recognition in most cloud-based cognitive services. And it's necessary to link special attributes to recognize brand and company names by linking online databases like Wikipedia. Also, the top required 100 faces of East Germany made a lot of manual AI training necessary. Of course, cognitive services today offer a much wider range of possibilities like mask detection during Corona times. So for the time being, we thank you for watching and listening and feel free to contact any person on the DevArf team if you have special questions about setting up your proof of concept or MVP. Thank <laughs> you.